the literature shows that CBT works well with depression. And in terms of preventing relapse, it works better than drugs. Now, what does the literature show? If you have an expert CBT therapist, the patient's going to do better uh, than uh, receiving drugs. If you have an inexpert, an expert therapist, then the combination is going to be better than either alone. So, so if you have naive therapists, they'll probably get a better result unless they're particularly skillful. And some naive therapists just are kind of innately more intuitive, uh, but in which case they would probably fit into the expert category. So that's the story. So it depends on the particular condition, whether you want to have a combination or whether you're going to have a single one. Now, my own experience, I started doing psychotherapy and what I eventually called cognitive therapy long before they had antidepressant or anti-anxiety drugs. And I also treated bipolar patients before they had lithium. And it was hard work, but it was possible to use um, cognitive restructuring techniques, even with manic patients or severely depressed patients. However, when lithium came along, then I used both because it takes a heroic effort to treat a manic patient simply with uh, cognitive therapy alone. It can be done, but it's uh, extremely strenuous. So, And some of the research in the last less than a decade has shown that cognitive therapy is effective even for patients with severe depression. It used to be thought, well, maybe it can help with uh, mild to moderate depression, but the, the um, meta-analyses show that no, it's yeah, helpful so for severe Yeah, so there have been a number depression. of studies that have shown uh, that cognitive therapy is effective uh, as, as long as you have uh, therapists who reach a certain level of competency, when the therapist does not reach that level of competency, you don't get as good results. Now, what's the, what about schizophrenia? Can schizophrenia be treated without drugs? How many how many think you need uh, schiz you need drugs to treat schizophrenia? I don't see any hands. Very few hands, yeah. Don't see many. How many think that uh, can be treated? with cognitive therapy alone. Okay, now up until a month ago, there really wasn't a solid answer to that question. Uh, but there was a study in Britain um, in which patients who were not on medication, had not been on medication for at least six months, and most of the patients had never been on medication because they refused it. And those who um, were off medication went off it either voluntarily or because they were getting bad side effects. Patients were randomly uh, assigned to treatment as usual, which in Britain is very good, but non-drug treatment as usual, or to a cognitive therapy manipulation. And in this particular instance, twice as many patients recovered with cognitive therapy than with uh, no treatment alone. Now, there have to be other studies done to maybe comparison with drug-treated patients. But even with a, a condition as severe as schizophrenia, it's possible to use cognitive behavioral techniques uh, and get the patient better. It's hard work, and um, it, it takes a certain amount of expertise, but it can be done. This is completely different from what was is generally believed today and um, I don't think this study could be done in the U.S. or it couldn't get funded in the U.S. because the uh, belief is so strong that schizophrenic patients require drugs for treatment that it kind of precludes any kind of psychotherapy alone condition.